Hello guys, welcome to White Dot Academy. White Dot Academy is providing the best quality tutorials. Today I will teach you how to, to, to design this business card with the text string with some grey background and how to create these all steps. If you want to connect my latest video, so please type the white dot academy in the youtube search bar and you will look here is my tutorials and you can also click the white dot academy page and you will look this my page and here you can subscribe my channel this is my subscribe button if you subscribe my button you will connect my latest video also you can follow these my social links and you here you will look my uh, other tutorials of Photoshop like like text bevel effects, text portrait effects, manipulation effects and manipulation other effects. Let's go and start the tutorial. Today I will teach you how to create a business card in Adobe Photoshop. First of all I have create a new size for business card which is select the inches Insert the width 3.5 and set the height 2 inches. Must set the resolution 300. This is a standard printing resolution. Must select the color CMYK because if you want to get the print, print a business card, so you should need to set the color mode to CMYK. Hit the OK button. Now I have got the exact area of the business card first of all you should need to own the ruler bar this is the ruler bar if the ruler bar is not showing in your canvas so please click the control r look i have hit the control r i have got the ruler bar you can also set the printing markups I have set the 0.5 markup for cutting margin. And you look here, I have set, first of all, I have set the cutting margin for business card. Now, now I want. First of all, I am copy my logo, which is the shoes logo. I will open my logo in the Adobe Illustrator. Simply, I am copy my logo with Control C button. Open the Adobe Photoshop and simple paste with Control V button. Must select the smart object. Smart object basically is a vector option. I have set my logo at the center of the business card. If you want to get if you want to get the exact center, hit the control A button, must select the move tool and hit the center option. Control D for deselect. No. Now you select the rectangle tool and I have draw it the center position now i'm getting the same color of the logo with eyedropper i have simply click and i have got the blue color select the move tool for filling the color in the rectangle hit alt and backspace Now I again get the duplicate with Ctrl J button and look here I have got the duplicate layer. I have dragged the position into left side. Press the Ctrl T button and decrease the size of the rectangle box. If I hide my guidelines so I have got the beautiful 
log. Now, now we again get this rectangle duplicate with Control J button. and set at the top of the rectangle and decrease the size select the eyedropper and get the orange color select the move tool hit alt and backspace for filling the color Now I got the again duplicate with Ctrl J button and set at the bottom side. Decrease the size of the rectangle. Okay. <coughs> now I select my. Now I have got again a duplicate with this layer. Look. Decrease the size of the layer. Control plus for zoom in. Hold down the control button with shift and double click. And down the layer at the end of the box layer and change the color to darker hit the ok fill the color all at backspace and look i have got some good effect again get the control j for duplicate press the control t right click flip vertical and down with the arrow key of the keyboard so you look <coughs> i got the cool effect now i just select my background so that i can give the some gray color at the top of the business card i have create a new layer at the top of the background layer select the brush tool and I have select the gray color in this position hit ok decrease the size of the brush you can decrease or increase the size from here or you can also decrease or increase the size with curly brackets And we have decreased the opacity to 43. Okay. Now I want to set my addresses, contact, and name information. Select the text tool, hit the click, and type the name. I will type your name here. Select the font style to bold you select my name layer uh, I want to change the font style to this one You increase the size of the name and I will get the duplicate with alt button select the designation manager hit the control a select for all select the regular font and decrease the size the manager position now now you want to set my address contact information there is two option if 
if I got I have already set my addresses and I want to set the left line I have already set in my illustrator all of you in illustrator I simply change the color to white hit the copy with control C button and control V for paste and look must align the contact information with name and decrease into the bottom side now I have copy a texture with I have already created with this box here is the box I have copy simply and paste into the top side I have down layer at the top of the blue background which is this layer now I have changed my mode to divide and decrease the size now I have select again at the top of the side again get the duplicate control J button rotate the position at the bottom side hide the guidelines and you look I think this one is perfect if you like this tutorial so please don't forget to click on subscribe button if you click on subscribe button you will connect my latest video I will provide the brochure poster and all types of designing tutorials also post your great comments and you can also type a white dot academy in YouTube search bar or also you can subscribe here here is my subscribe button I have already uploaded some also other tutorials with bevel and emboss text effects manipulations and pen tool hope you will like this please subscribe the button also post the great comments thank you very much